going on YouTube world. Uh, <clears throat> figure an update on these videos I've acquired. DVDs, as it were. A couple games, too. So, some stuff set up here. I should have probably done it before, but you do what you do. So, I've got cards as well, but that will be down the road. Games I've picked up. And then a couple sports games. Oh, they weren't much. That's what you look for. You don't want to be spending how much money on that stuff. So, DVD time. Um, I'll show the backs, the card on there. So I hope not too much glare from the TV, but shoot interview with uh, Zeus Tiny Lister <clears throat> passed away, I think, last year. Generation next. <clears throat> um, better than our best. Uh, PWG. Uh, shoot interview. A timeline for Piper. 84 WWF, um, Cornette, 89 WCW, I might be in the minority here, but I love listening to a lot of Cornette stuff, again, he believes a lot of his own hype, but a lot, he is one of the smartest guys in the, the business, bar none. Vinnie Roo, WWF 98, and then Vinnie Roo, WCW, 2000, which is huge for me, um, a lot of guys I enjoy, <clears throat> for many years, I worked in there at that time, that really didn't get the, the love they should have. Just because everybody's shitting all over WCW because it was just such a nightmare of a product. Uh, it's so much chaos. Um, Ring of Honor, Best of the World, 16. Uh, Global Wars, 14. The Ted Reeve Arena, I've been there before. Uh, I was there for... This in 15 for two nights show. Uh, Field of Honor 2014. Uh, I think that's in the Brooklyn Minor League Park. Unopened. At some point it will be open to view. Shoot interview with this guy, Jesse Ventura. Another one that I, his voice is wrestling for me. And another voice that is wrestling is Mr. Tony Schiavone. I'll say good luck reading this if you pause it, just because. The, this one came from 
of Great Britain. Hoping to win another one. Didn't. <clears throat> so we'll get the shipping to a more manageable rate, which was huge. Um, this one, the cover, sort of, it's almost waterlogged. Yeah, it looks like water and mold, which is always nice. Um, that one's one of gold. So we have Scott Hall, two disc, uh, and then part two of the shoot interview, and then Outsiders with Nash, and then uh, Shawn Michaels. So that'll be interesting. Again, that's older for Michaels, and it's at 05, but still. Uh, Ring of Honor, Hunt for the Gold. 2013. Uh, six anniversary show. Still got Mark Simmons off the list. Don't want to be, be buying duplicates. Uh, PWG Steen Wolf. Um, bad for a lot of these DVD cases are shit but oh, world's finest from PWG March 17th 2012. Bitter Friends, Different Enemies 2, Ring of Honor. Gotta imagine that's gonna be a fun fight with Generico and Cabana against um, Carino and Steen. And in Chicago, so you know Colt will be over. Survival of the Fittest, 2009. We've got Kenny Omega's on the cover. Kenny King, Steen, Petey Williams, Tyler Black, Seth Rollins, Claudio Castanoli, Cesaro, Cabana, Brett Titus, uh, Chris Hero, Roderick Strong, and <clears throat> El Generico. Kenny Omega. There, so again, always fun to find <clears throat> those DVDs. Um, the Nightmare Begins. I think this is Scum when they start Scum. Jimmy Jacobs, Steen, and um, Carino. Uh, Unity. Some Chikara guys. That's what, 2012. Briscoe's up on there. Final Battle 07. Just the one disc. Yeah, it's got a little heavier. Again, yeah, I've looked at them. But they've been sitting for a bit. Death Before Dishonor 5, Night 1, which I've got, I think, Night 2. So that completes that little fun package. Uh, end of an Age, 
I think this is the last show for Tyler Black. I'm not 100% sure, but um, fairly, fairly certain. Right about that time, he left. Ah, uh, I don't know if that's in here. What? I know I got another. Uh, AEW one that came in. I think I've been buying the best of the Fantastics, which, again, it's fine, but. Um, A1 Wrestling Beyond Compare. The reason I got it, I think, was the Eddie Kingston Josh Alexander one. Let's see what that match was about. Um, Freedoms, <clears throat> which is over in Japan. Bottoms, a uh, ultra violent match, so extreme. Um, High Spots presents Extreme Premier Wrestling Experience 2013. Yeah. When you see the back, you'll sort of understand why I'm picking that up. This match on there, I think, is with Johnny Silver. Been a, <clears throat> become a big fan of him. But you got him and Reynolds on there. Um, Rich Swan, Leva Bates, who I've seen a couple times in person wrestle, uh, Tony Meese, Caleb Conley, Jake Manning, uh, Cedric Alexander, Chris Hero. So, again, that was a super cheap one. Can't go wrong with that. Again, just add it to the collection. Bruno, talking about the 60s. That's going to be a fun one. Um, back to the Territories, J.J. Dillon. And uh, Cornette, two guys I respect the hell out of. Uh, JJ Dillon, just a great, great mind. Unopened, Chicago Spectacular Night 2 and 06 for Ring of Honor. <clears throat> uh, Dragon Gate. It's a three disc, no, two disc, I think. I don't think there's anything in that. Okay. Two disc, oh, open the historic gate. Um, 2009, July 25th. I think that might have been, <clears throat> I don't know if that was their first show here or not. Um, this one finally bit the bullet. There's a couple I've lost on. And they had went for about five, ten bucks less than this. So, whatever. But this is autographed by Jim Cornette, Sweet Stan Lane. Um, God, is it Bill Tondry? It's Bobby Eaton. It's got this. I'll show that first little dimple there which whatever but on the front with the Bobby Eaton auto obviously it means a lot to me I'm a big I was a huge fan of him that's a guy I wish I would have met um it just didn't work out that way which sucks I said he one of my favorites of all I don't know where that went Oh, I'll have to search. Because I know um, I've got one more. Is that it? I thought I showed this. I don't remember if I've shown that. The double or nothing from last year. Later on, I'll have completed now the AEW run. Spoiler alert. Uh, Shakara, King of the Trios, Night 3. 1, 2, and 3 from uh, whatever... Twelve. 
this, I mean, this stuff looks so much fun. So no Warlord Barbarian are on there. Um, love the, <clears throat> the covers. This collection is starting to come together nicely. I'm super happy with that. It's about the only thing hobby-wise I'm happy with. Um, that's the thing I'm going to do after this video. Start writing down what I need. But, uh... Young Lions Cup 9. 11. Um, I think on the in international, what? Invaders. Let's see what I can't read that. Watching the Olympics right now, uh, engulfed in the fever of spite. Let's see the pile is. Um, anniversary armor from eight. Piece of the action. Chucky e. T on there. That's from uh, 15, 12. Quest for the Grand Championship 12 Large Summit. Brody Lee. Again, one of the big things, too. Finding some of these with some guys I like on there. Uh, CZW, best of the best of five. <clears throat> Let's see how that turns out. CZW Deja Vu from 2010. This one's got Moxley and uh, Nick Gage, I think, on there. Yeah. Uh, CZW Only the Strong Six, I think, maybe. A couple of those I should have bought and I didn't, I didn't, and that's, <clears throat> I won't say it'll piss me off, but at the same time I should have just fucking bit the bullet and shoot with a crooked arrow, Chikara. Then he sent uh, IWA Japan Fire on Earth and Glass Graveyard, so I'm guessing those are some Quality death matches there. Uh, Chikara is also great. I won't show the dates. I don't know if we're running out of time or not. But. <clears throat> Best of 03. Um, Apocalypso. Six. Young Eddie Kingston there. But he wasn't so good. Uh, Reborn again, Ring of Honor. Uh, May of 07. Shoot interview again, another guy that's just brilliant. Uh, Father James Mitchell. Battle not with monsters. And that's uh, 13, 2013. Grit and Glory.
from 2008. And then uh, Maiden Flight of the Great Condor. That's from 11. Some of these have Eric Cannon, Darren Corbin on there. And I just got this in today. Completes the AEW. Full gear. Was there. Sick brag, bro. With my babu, Tristella. So, uh, Fun times are had by all. Also picked this up at Walmart. It was on clearance for $7.69. So, Jackpot Junction. So, hope you guys enjoyed. A lot of, I've had a lot of fun picking this stuff up and we'll keep on doing so. Uh, cards may, like I said, my goal is really to take a back seat, but this will not. This is forging forward stronger than it has in probably over a decade. So, uh, take her easy, YouTube. She's easy? Mm -hmm. Take her twice.